What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the series. This is the first six games of the season. Halfway through the season, I'm gonna do this uh, just a real quick, like uh, five minute or so clip of each game to get us to the halfway point of the season to get caught up to where I am in the recording, as I recorded a lot of games without doing uh, editing and whatnot. You see Benjamin here taking off with the option. And you're going to see a whole lot, about 24 minutes and 24.76 seconds of a lot of Benjamin uh, running the speed option because that's just 90% of our offense right now. All the same, see Caldwell dropping back. And another pick, pick City. And uh, I tried to run kind of like a conventional offense, I guess you'd say. But boy, let me tell you. It just uh, doesn't go real well for us. So we usually wind up getting bailed out by Benjamin or Jones, Julio Jones, or one of those two, pretty much. Uh, but you'll see that as we go here. Nixon drops back and throws it deep, and it's intercepted. Intercepted. So Louisville with three turnovers, that's with one at the end of the first quarter. We're up 14 nothing. We're ranked 25th. Louisville is ranked 15th. And drops back, hit as he throws, and it's picked off. And we get a defensive touchdown scored against us. I don't know why I said we get one. But anyway, and Cantwell, I think I, is it Cantwell? I think I called him Caldwell a while ago. But all the same, he throws a touchdown. Points off the turnover. The story of the game for both teams so far. Benjamin dropping back, and he's going to run. And he's our uh, wild cat replacement top thing for uh, Earl Bennett who if you're not watching the Madden series that goes with this Earl Bennett is now on the Cleveland Browns and yet another pick this one from Mayhew Hugh, Mayhew so we're on offense again we do have a touchdown lead Nixon dropping back Nixon looking and just throwing a deep bomb <laughs> And that's how those deep bombs are going so far. But to be fair, they're kind of 50-50 balls once we throw them. So it is what it is. It'd be like that sometimes. One minute to go here in the second quarter. We get the ball back now. And Benjamin Julio Jones picks up a block. And Benjamin is going down the sideline. The true freshman wide receiver who's done at the Wildcat for us. With one second to go, Cantwell... Shrugs off the defender, throws it deep, and he's picked off by Mayhew again. So is that like five picks in the first half, I believe, for Cantwell? Otherwise, Lou, this would be a very – we'd probably be getting beat pretty bad, actually. I was going to say a more competitive game, but uh, we'd probably be getting thrashed. And Benjamin out to the side again. He's actually getting caught by 14, but he's going to get to the end zone – for the touchdown so as you can see so far in this game Benjamin is about he's about our only hope kind of like uh, Earl Bennett was last year so like I say I'm only showing uh, just a few highlights from each game so we do run a more conventional offense and then we just kind of have to bail ourselves out with the wildcat speed option very consistently but it is what it is 35-21, the kick is off to Julio Jones, and Julio Jones fumbles, and so they will start inside the 20, and that ends the third quarter. We are up by two touchdowns over the number 15, Louisville Cardinals. Ashburn drops back, throws, touchdown. He's having a uh, better game than Cantwell since he came in for him. Benjamin off to the side, gets a little chip block there, and he's gone again. 431 yards in his first ever collegiate football game. And that would end the game 42-28. to Cantwell only completed five passes, which he also completed five passes to our team. So I guess he completed uh, 10, technically, right? Stripling with only 46 yards. I don't know how you say that man's name, but he... Uh, he actually did really well. Really well. Eight catches, 129 yards. Uh, miles with 10 tackles. 
Several tackles for a loss, several sacks, four picks. Speed with eight tackles, two of them for a loss, sacks. Um, two picks for Mayhew, one for Caldwell Hamilton and Fagan as well. at that for a while no receptions from anyone and some drops that was pretty cool george smith and julio jones each with a drop travis benjamin with 441 yards six touchdowns him and jennings literally the only offense we had all game negative 36 rushing yards from nixon who was zero for 13 throwing the football uh, although he did complete four to the other team and was sacked four times. So, entering conference play here against unranked Auburn. We're now number 21. They're already 2-0. and And Smith, in a weak point of our defense, I learned very early, as you're learning very early in the season, is uh, the very middle of the field. We seem to cover our out on the deep ball. We get several picks that way, but uh, they'll catch a quick slant and just go straight up the middle all the way. That's just just awful. Big play there to Julio Jones. He's down inside the five, and Benjamin's going to score this one. And that ends the first quarter tied at seven. And Benjamin with room to run. And another touchdown from Travis Benjamin. I keep wanting to call him Kelvin Benjamin, and I'm not sure why, but Benjamin again, and he gets around the corner and into the end zone again. So uh, my dog just came in the doggy door. I realized as I was editing this to just show the like big like the interceptions, good gracious, interceptions and uh, touchdowns and big plays, things of that nature, as Julio Jones catches that one right there for a touchdown, I realized that uh, there was a whole bunch of just like speed options back to back to back. So the after this video, when we get back to doing just like one or two games per video where we show more of the game than just the uh, scoring. That's two fumbles on that play as Holmes picks up the second one. Um, it'll be hopefully better when we see more plays than just that, but that's early and often the uh, only viable scoring we had. So 171 yards and three touchdowns from Travis Benjamin, 87 yards from Jennings, and 59 from Jones, who's uh, Benjamin's running buddy at the Wildcat speed option. Jones also had four catches for 88 yards and a touchdown. Speed with six tackles, four for a loss, two sacks. We got one pick from Ryan Hamilton. That was early in the game. We didn't throw any picks. Only allowed three sacks. So offense is looking better. Which, to be fair, doesn't take much. But still, it's looking better. Lester with only 14 yards rushing. One of one for 16 yards. Throwing from the halfback position. Taking on Ole Miss. One and one Ole Miss. We're now number 19. Two and oh. Nixon looking. Nixon throwing a deep ball. And pretty much every time we try to hit Travis Benjamin deep, we wind up throwing a pick. So that's how that's going for us. So we come out here. Travis Benjamin gets a block and he's going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Up seven, nothing. Nixon looking. Nixon needing to throw it somewhere. Tries to go to Jones, but he goes to Jackson. My problem is Jackson plays for Ole Miss. At the end of the first quarter, we are up seven, nothing. There's a pick by Newton, who then fumbles, and it's picked up, thankfully, by Caldwell. Benjamin going out. Gets a good block from Julio Jones. I, well, I guess good block's a strong word. He has to dive for the touchdown, but he gets there. It's more of a, like a 
dove in front of the guy and hoped he slowed down the block. But anyway, we finally complete a deep bomb to Benjamin, and we go into the half up 14 to 0. Hand off to Jennings, and Jennings is loose up the middle. Touchdown for Jennings. That ends the third quarter, 21 nothing. In the fourth quarter, we tack on a field goal, and that was that was that from that game. Sneed six of 14, 56 yards, sacked seven times. Eason with 19 yards. The whole time I thought that was Mike Wallace, but it was Burnell Wallace. So that was that. And a man with eight tackles. They did get a sack and two picks. kicking but Caldwell with four sacks very nice very nice Newton with the pick Caldwell also had a fumble recovery technically 75 yards is all we got out of Benjamin in this game on just three attempts oh that was catches <laughs> 168 for him and 135 for Jennings my bad again no touchdowns and two picks for Nixon so that's Oh, that's going. Taking on Jimmy Clausen and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. He's got a man in motion out far right. Clausen finds Grimes. And yeah, I, I did dive. That, <coughs> that was something that something that happened. Benjamin gets around the corner. Oh! Makes a man miss that had a sure tackle on him. And he's gone. No one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Travis Benjamin. Here we are on the ensuing kickoff. Tied at seven, I believe. Aldridge with a juke. And he's, yeah, he's got that. I thought Walker was going to get him. He's gone. Touchdown for Notre Dame. So we blocked the extra point. It's 13 to seven. Benjamin again around the corner. Got all those gold helmets behind him, which I guess we have gold helmets. Is it gold? This is gold. Hmm. Jimmy Clausen dropping back. Speed coming around the corner. He's blocked. Oh, but it's tipped, and Hamilton comes down with it. And he's into the end zone. 21-13 for Vanderbilt. The ensuing kickoff to Aldridge, who takes it up the exact same lane. And has Walker in pursuit, but scores yet again. So 20 to 21. Benjamin far right outside. Gets to the sideline. Cuts back towards the middle. And there's a touchdown. 28 to 20. This is still the first quarter. I don't know how I didn't realize that when I was editing, but this is still the first quarter. They punt it to Travis Benjamin, who hits the sideline uh, yeah! with the hurdle and the run through. And he's into the end zone for a punt return touchdown this time. So into the first quarter, it is 35 to 20. Clawson handoff to Aldridge, who, who's just not being very friendly at all to us Benjamin to the right and he's gone for the touchdown again the only highlight on the offensive side for us they do kick a field goal there so it's 30 to 42 and that would be the halftime score as well Picking up in the second half, looking for a block there is Benjamin. He gets it and he is into the end zone. Lee Corso is that feller's hero. Clawson looking. Clawson got Grimes, who's already scored once. And he's going to score again. Notre Dame not backing down. Kick off to Julio Jones. Makes a man miss. If he could get... Oh, I thought he needed a block, but oh, he may still need a block. 
Julio Jones takes that kickoff back. So the end of the third quarter is 56 to 37. Still 56 37. We give to Jennings. A little juke move into the end zone. And that would uh, be that. So again, no passing game at all. 340 yards from Travis Benjamin with five touchdowns. Jennings with 44 and a touchdown. Two attempts, 18 yards for Julio Jones. Not one receiving stat. Not a drop, not nothing. Three sacks for speed, though. Hamilton did get that interception that he returned for a touchdown. Looking over at Notre Dame now. Not a whole lot going on defensively, but 150 yards and two touchdowns for Grimes on only four catches, mind you. Aldridge with only 84 yards. Oh, yeah, those other touchdowns were kick returns, weren't they? That's right. 263, two touchdowns, only one pick for Jimmy Clausen. Not a bad game. Sacked five times. So we're 4-0, number 17, and we're taking on 1-4, Mississippi State. We get down to the goal line, and Benjamin runs this one in. <coughs> Excuse me. First quarter ends 7 nothing for Vanderbilt. Hand off to Dixon, and Dixon is all the way gone. C- couldn't be more gone. Nixon dropping back, throwing. A... Well, that was a touchdown. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, I'm really not sure what's happening here. Oh, dear. It wasn't like that one ever. Oh, my. I hope that doesn't happen again. My apologies. My apologies for that. I guess I didn't catch that. Or it didn't happen or something. Whatever I was editing. Anyway, Allen gets the pick at the goal line. And he is going to run it to the 20 10 5. That's going to be a defensive touchdown for the second week in a row for Vanderbilt. Two different players, but all the same. 28 to 7 is the halftime score. Nixon handoff to Jennings, who jukes right into a guy, but gets into the end zone. Riley into the end zone. Touchdown. What's their quarterback's name? Hennig? Is that how you say that? Hennig? Hennig? Anyway, Travis Benjamin into the end zone there. Ends the third quarter 42 to 14. We'd come in and kick a field goal. Makes it 45 14, and that would be the final. 7 of 9. Travis Benjamin with three touchdowns on 246 yards. Jennings 73 yards and a touchdown himself. Nixon with 13 yards. Jones with 9. Had a few catches. One was even for a touchdown. This time around. Defensively, Chris Johnson, our middle linebacker, leads the way. We get two sacks. Usually we get more sacks than that. But Mayhew and Allen, both with interceptions. Allen's, I believe, is the one that went back for a touchdown. Yeah, 101 yards. I'm going to say it was probably him. And it was. And it was. Seven tackle. I didn't have any sacks. I did have an interception, but only for two yards. Three receptions, 101 yards, and a touchdown for Riley. Cool, Eric Riley. Is that quarterback's name? Hennig? Is that how you say that? Michael Hennig? 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 Only sacked twice. So we got a tough test here. It's number 20, Maryland. They've only lost one game. 5-1, and one, Maryland. Comes into Vanderbilt to take on the 15th ranked Commodores. And right there, they get the deep pass to Oquindo. Aquindo. Steffi hands off to Green. And he's gone. I like these all black uniforms, though, I must say. And Steffi with the handoff to Green, and he is gone again. So far, not so good. 14 nothing for the Terps. Benjamin finally getting loose. Juked into him, and somehow that was a truck 
slapstick type thing, but we'll take it. We trail 14 to seven at the end of this first quarter. Jet sweep to Williams, perfect blocking scheme, untouched. 21 to seven now for Maryland. As the kickoff goes to Travis Benjamin, he gets up through the lane and he's gonna be gone for a touch, although nine is really running up on him. Is nine so he breaks Earl Bennett's record from last year. Is nine Darius Hayward Bay? I guess we're gonna find out. Uh I believe that's the guy that was chasing down our feller on the oh no it maybe that's a quick window. Anyway, we may get another kickoff here from Travis Benjamin. He's going to make a man miss, and he's going to be going. And Travis Benjamin, much has been the story this entire video, this entire season, mind you, makes a man miss, a man dives and doesn't get him. He's, uh, he's our Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's our only hope. 88 yard run breaking the record of 85 and that is is that Chris Gronkowski and his brother Dan is a tight end he's the fullback Dan's the tight end I believe they're uh, Rob's brothers so that's pretty interesting I thought 37 to 28 we blocked an extra point somewhere in there so we trail by 9 going in to the second half and Benjamin Benjamin's on the run. And he's in to the end zone. We trail a while. Only two. 35-37 and there's Dan. That's the other Gronkowski. And I may have those names backwards. One of them's Chris, one of them's Dan. Benjamin hits the sideline. And he's going to take this one all the way for the touchdown we would go for two and Benjamin would score that for us 43 to 43 we enter the fourth quarter all knotted up with Maryland they boot this one on the punt to Benjamin and Benjamin's gonna hit the sideline uh, he's getting caught by what looks like a linebacker but he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And then I just wanted to show this. Who else would uh, get that ball on the punt? The one man that's doing everything. Absolutely everything. Fagan picks that one off. Gets us down to like the 4-3, somewhere in their yard line. Letting some clock run off. We get Jennings. He is in to the end zone. It's 57-43. Steffi fires. Picked off by Speed, who has no speed. And we survive. Scoring twice in the final frame. Winning just barely by the skin of our teeth. 292 yards, four touchdowns for Travis Benjamin. Also caught one pass for 25 yards. Newton with 10 tackles. We did get three picks there late. When they were in desperation mode, 306 return yards for Benjamin and kicking, 83 and punting with touchdowns galore in each. Steffi threw those three picks late whenever they were trying to throw themselves back into the game. Hayward Bay, he was number eight. No, yeah, so Dan was the tight end. Was right about one of the two things that I was saying at least. Two sacks, two picks. I mean, for some reason, I thought they had a kicker term there. But anyway, that's going to do it. We'll have a midseason recap, and then we'll go back to doing videos the way we were doing them. So until then, y'all do it.